Hello everybody, welcome to this knockout analysis that we saw at UFC Fight Night Counting versus Woodley. That's UFC Fight Night 178 or UFC on ESPN plus 36. And if you're wondering, it's also UFC Vegas 11. So that way you know what to look for. So that was Randy Costa defeating Johnny Newsom. Now Costa did some uh, some interesting stuff here. I'm going to break down this knockout for you. So what he's going to do, he's going to throw that left hand and then Newsom is going to try to get his head out of the way. In and of itself, not a bad reaction. Nothing wrong with that per se. However, in this case, what you'll see is that he reaches out with his left hand here. So, which is, once again, I don't like that stuff. You guys know, know why by now. And then we see that Costa here is throwing that left hand. So, you'll see better in the next frame and when you get to the other camera angle. But here you see that left hand basically coming flush down the pipe. And Newsom has a good reaction in and of itself. He tries to get out of the way. Obviously, what that does, that puts him directly in the path of that incoming high kick. So it's a really good setup that Costa did. And you can see here, his leg is going to come up and over. And here you see that at this position, Newsom is totally leaning off balance all the way off to the side. So he's got nowhere to go as that leg is going to come up and into the target, as we see right here. Now you can see that the timing is, is really well done. The distancing was good as well, which meant that Costa just lands flush here. And you can see that the foot makes contact and here, boom, it lands. And watch the rotation once again of the head. So that rotation, that's the effect that you want to create with these kind of kicks that lands and then causes pretty much that instant knockdown. So you see it lands here and then the follow up, obviously, guys down and then it's just a matter of finishing off with a strike to the grounded opponent grounded in the sense that he's down and he's pretty much out so when i look at this again so once again you you want to watch that left hand and the reach that he has with it so he's going all the way forward with that left hand is reaching because he wants the opponent to lean off to the side so you can see that left hand narrowly misses and what i want you to watch here if we zoom in a little bit You'll see why it's throw away left hand because you can see that his fingers aren't even closed. It's just an open hand. He just wants his opponent to react to what's going on as opposed to have him um, try to countering or whatever. But he just wants to make sure that that head moves off center line and directly into the incoming path of that kick. So we'll watch it again here. Obviously, the ref's a little bit in the way. And then you see that he rotates fully with his hips. And you see here the incoming path. So at this stage, Newsom, he's still moving out of the way of that left hand that he saw coming and directly into that path. Even if he manages to spot that incoming kick at this point, he's got no, nowhere left to go. That's it. He's done. The second thing is that as he tried to parry a little bit or extend with that right hand against the incoming jab, so when you watch it again, watch his right hand here. Watch what that right hand does as he sees that left hand comes in. See, it comes forward. So he tries to parry a little bit as he evades. Nothing wrong with that either. It's, it's a good defensive technique. However, in this case, he's basically being set up for that kick. So it ends up being, um, well, pretty much his downfall. And you see, once again, notice the full hip rotation here. Notice how that is going to drive that leg forward and then it lands and here you see perfect contact with the foot and the rotation see that head snap off to the side okay and there's a little bit extra here that i will uh, explain also in the patreon video why this is such an effective move in this particular context but it works really well and then obviously you've got the follow through which is equally important guy goes down he stiffens up like a board and but he's not fully out just yet and then it's just a matter of costa following up doing that big right hand here and fish, finishing the guy off on the ground. And we're pretty much done. So an excellent, excellent job that we saw by um, Randy Costa here. Fortunately for Jordan Newsom, he is on the receiving end of that head kick and he pretty much had no shot at coming back into the fight. But well done by Randy Costa and I hope we can see a lot more of him. That was a really interesting fight. Very, very well-placed kick, and I hope the guy is off into a really good career in the UFC. So if you want to see more of this, I will continue with the breakdown more in-depth on my Patreon channel, and you'll find the link in the description and on the screen. And if not, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.